Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I'm security researcher here on YouTube. Um, I am a security researcher. My primary focus is wireless communications, uh, specifically mm, cell phone network function and operation. Um, I have over 20 years experience with it. Um, my fascination with wireless communication began with CB radios and ham radios. In the late 90s, I was blessed with an opportunity to learn from a, a group of uh, senior design engineers that had been recently laid off from Motorola. Um, I want to personally thank those guys. If they knew me by voice now, um, I you guys shaped my life. Really, truly, the wisdom that you imparted onto me has molded my life in ways that I would have never expected when I was younger. So I thank you for it, and now I'm passing that gift on to other people by doing a series of videos. Um, a couple of things I want to talk about real quick. Three things that I hear all the time from people. Um, can I just shut my phone off? You can, if that gives you peace of mind. However, uh, when you push a button on your phone to turn it on, you are sending a command to a computer that's on board your phone to tell it that you want to interact with it. When you hold down that button, you are sending a command to a computer on your phone to tell it that you no longer want to interact with it. It is not a switch. You are not physically decoupling the power on your phone so that it no longer can operate. So, no. Turning your phone off doesn't provide you the protection that you think it does. Uh, what about airplane mode? Airplane mode is great for airplanes. If you think that airplane mode is somehow going to trump billions of dollars spent on a surveillance apparatus or tools that use the same vulnerabilities that the surveillance apparatus uses, you are a fool. Uh, three, is there an app that will stop cell phone surveillance? No, there is no app that will stop cell phone surveillance. There are apps that can improve the security of your communications, but there is no app that will stop cell phone surveillance. Um, my focus of this talk is going to be about uh, what you can do. So ultimately, at this point, the only thing that you can do until people start to demand change in this whole situation is you have to isolate your phone so that it can't send or receive signals. Um, there are a lot of products out there, uh, like this one, that use signal blocking fabric uh, and claim that that works. This is actually uh, RF shielding fabric. It isn't even really signal blocking fabric. They call this signal blocking fabric, but this is RF shielding fabric. It is semi-permeable to radio frequency, so uh, radio frequencies do pass through this fabric. Um, part of the governing factors of what a radio frequency will pass through is its frequency, its power, um, and also its distance. So a lot of people will buy these things, um, try them at their homes. Uh, they live three or four miles from a cell phone antenna, and there's a bunch of walls in the way, a bunch of trees, a bunch of buildings, all this stuff breaking up cell phone signals as they try to make it to their phone, and they think it works because it adds enough interference uh, that it can help disrupt the communications between the phone and the tower on the uh, 800 megahertz to 1.9 gigahertz frequency spectrum, which is what cell phones operate in. Um, the problem is, is you have semi-permeable fabrics and this massive opening. And some openings on these things are even bigger. They have them lengthwise where there's just giant openings. Um, but this is a really big opening, especially to uh, radio frequencies. And just flapping a piece of fabric over that opening does not seal it effectively. Uh, I have yet to find a soft case that seals effectively. Um, and I've tried a lot of them. So I can test them here in the lab. I have all sorts of uh, bench top uh, multimeters, which are way more sensitive than the one in your toolbox. Uh, oscilloscopes, I've got signal generators. I've got all sorts of things here in the lab that I can determine what is coming out of these things and what isn't. Um, but for the average person to test these things, there is a very simple field uh, functionality test. Take the product that you own, the phone that you intend to use in it, and another cell phone. Go find a cell phone tower and get within 300 feet of it. Place your phone inside of it, seal it up according to the manufacturer's instructions, and call it from the other phone. Send it a text message, send it a picture or a video, what they call an MMS message, if any of that gets through, you have to ask yourself two questions. A, did I get what I paid for? And B, did I buy a story about what I wanted to pay for? 
because there's a lot of stories about the effectiveness of these fabric-based um, cell phone products that supposedly isolate your phone. Uh, I'll call them cell phone interference cases. Um, but they really don't live up to the claims. Uh, these things are not reliable. They do not work when put to just that basic field test, let alone when you actually bring it into the lab and start to analyze what's going in and what's coming out. Um, these products really don't work. Um, but it's because most people have no idea what they're dealing with that you're seeing more and more and more of these things because people are just preying on the ignorance of the population. Um, so it's really important that you try yours. Um, and please let me know in the comments section below uh, what you tried and whether or not it worked. Um, because I have yet to find a soft case that will pass that 300 foot test. Um, okay, so what are you looking for? Ultimately, you are looking for uh, a signal blocking phone case that has independent lab test results. Um, don't just trust somebody that tells you that, oh, hey, ours does this. Find out if they've had it tested independently. Is there somebody who will stand behind their claims and say, yes, their product performs as they've described? Um, don't trust these fabric-based things. These things are... are not reliable. I'll be nice about it. So um, that concludes this video. I am going to do, like I said, a series of videos on the vulnerabilities of cell phones, who can do what and how they do it, uh, and how it impacts you. Uh, it's really important that everybody that uses a cell phone, which is literally everybody in the United States for the most part, I think there's more phones in this country than there are people, um, uh, you really need to subscribe below because I'm going to start spilling the beans on a lot of things. Um, I'm also going to do some reviews of some other products um, for security, whether it's wireless, wired, or physical security products. Um, so you might find some of that interesting as well. So please hit subscribe. Share this with your friends and family. I am Security Researcher. I appreciate the last 7 minutes and 45 seconds of your life.